In preservation, there's not many pre-grouping Great Western engines that were amalgamated into the GWR upon the grouping, but this 1901 Hudswell Clark saddle tank is one of the few. What began in life as Port Talbot Railway No. 26 was one of nine similar engines ordered between 1898 and 1901 specifically for short distance trip working and dock shunting. Operation of the Port Talbot was taken over by the Great Western in 1908, with No. 26 ending up on loan to the GWR until the grouping in 1923. She was renumbered 813, and as time went by, the Swindonization of this engine began, with the fitting of Swindon injectors, buffers, whistles, cab fittings, and a William Dean style smoke box door, which is why she looks a bit old fashioned. Sadly, the Port Talbot saddle tanks were early casualties of the GWR's scrap and build policy. All of them were made surplus to requirements by 1934, with five of them being sold to the coal industry. 813 eventually ended up on the Backworth colliery system near Newcastle on Tyne, passing into National Coal Board ownership in 1947. Despite being fitted with a new boiler and firebox towards the end of her working life, she was demoted to standby engine status in 1966, which is where the GWR 813 Preservation Fund comes in. Following a hectic fundraising scheme, the engine was purchased for the modern equivalent of around £5,600 and was moved to the Seven Valley Railway in November 1967. Restoration started, stopped, and restarted on more than one occasion over the next two decades, with the engine steaming for limited periods on special occasions. But it wasn't until July 2000 when the engine finally returned to steam for a full working ticket, just in time to avert a major railway crisis. In the summer of the year 2000, the Seven Valley succumbed to a drastic wave of mysterious boiler failures. This left the newly overhauled Port Talbot saddle tank as the only operational steam locomotive in the railway's summer fleet. As such, she was pressed into service before the paintwork could even be finished. So there you have it, the little engine that could wasn't just a cliched children's bedtime story, it was something that really happened. It's funny how fate works, isn't it?